let's have a session on gearing ratio. This is for A-level business. So here's the question. A business has non-current liabilities of £100,000 and a gearing ratio of 25%. It then takes out a long-term loan of £50,000 from the bank. Calculate its new gearing ratio after taking out this bank loan. So pause the video, give it a whirl. Right, hopefully you had a chance to weigh that out. Let's go for it. So let's just bring out the question. There we go. First thing we need to note was what was the gearing ratio? And the gearing ratio is non-current liabilities, so your long-term liabilities, divided by capital employed times by 100. But we need to play around with the formula here. So we put the gearing ratio in, which we've been given at 25%. We've got the non-current liabilities, £100,000, but we don't know the capital employed. It wasn't given the question. So we can work that out if we just play around with those numbers. And if we make 25%, 0.25, and then that equals 100000 divided by X being capital employed. So X, or capital employed, must equal £400,000. Now remember, capital employed is made up of total equity and non-current liabilities. So firstly, we're going to try and calculate, after they've taken out this bank loan, what the new capital employed would be. Well, we know the capital employed was 400,000 because we just worked that out. We add on the new bank loan for 50,000 pounds. So the new capital employed is 450,000 pounds. Now we need to calculate the new current liabilities. For that, we, we've been given the non-current liabilities of 100,000 pounds. If you take out a bank loan, we assume that that's going to be more non-current liabilities, more long-term um, debt to the business. So £100,000 plus £50,000 is of course £150,000. And then we just simply slot those numbers back in to the gearing ratio to calculate the new gearing ratio. And that will be 150000 divided by 450000 Express it as a percentage and the answer is 33.3%. I'll see you at the next session.